surface anatomy of any body part is very important. So today I will explain about surface anatomy of neck. Okay. Why it is important? Because one needs to put correct skin incisions during surgeries and second to give local infiltration of anesthesia. We palpate certain surgical uh, surface landmarks and then we put the identify the underlying structures and then give local anesthesia. And also to get an idea of the structures within your uh, body, the surgical anatomy is important. So, um, residents will get and undergraduates also will get questions on that during exams and also for the clinician this is very important. Um, today I will explain about the surgical anatomy then only uh, we can move with the uh, different triangles of neck and also finally to get a correct idea when I explain the uh, neck dissections. So this is all these classes are preliminary to um, understanding the various types of neck dissections. Okay, so you should be thorough with the surgical anatomy of neck and also the triangles of neck. Okay, so I um, will explain from anterior aspect first. This face, okay, as I described, you can palpate it on your own head and neck. Okay, so first comes here is a mandible. So this is body of mandible. Then, angle of mandible. Okay. Got it? So, this body and angle. So, we have two angle of mandibles and one body. Right? So, angle of uh, man, uh, mandible and the body of mandible. After that, what comes here? You have your clavicle. Right? So here is your comes the clavicle. Um, two clavicles, and in between clavicle, this uh, bone is sternum. So manubrium sternum. Here comes your manubrium sternum. So this sternum comes here. I am go not going to the uh, chest part. We, we our neck. Uh, limit the lower limit of neck is sternum and also the manubrium in between and here comes the uh, sternal notch okay so sternal notch uh, mandible body as well as angle of mandible and then sternal notch two clavicles and manubrium okay uh, one important muscle in the neck divides uh, neck into an anterior compartment and a posterior compartment and that muscle is sternocleidomastoid. Sternocleidomastoid, this muscle. Okay. And what is that? It is a sternocleidomastoid. Okay. Here also comes the sternocleidomastoid. If this sternocleidomastoid has got two heads, and the sternocleidomastoid, you can see that it is coming and splitting into two. Isn't it? So origin is by two heads. One is from the clavicle and another is from the sternum. Okay. So it has got a clavicular head. And also it has got a sternal head and it is going and getting inserted to mastoid process and also the lateral half of superior nuclei. Okay, so 
Another important one is sternocleidomastoid muscle. It's also palpable here, right? Sternocleidomastoid, it from uh, originating as two heads, clavicular head and sternal head. Okay. So, and this sternocleidomastoid is very important landmark. It divides the neck into an anterior compartment and a posterior compartment. So, after these structures, you will you can palpate an important prominence in the neck, and this prominence will be more. In case of more prominent in males and less prominent in female, Adam's apple and this one moving with deglutition. So above that, one another important landmark is a hyoid bone. This one. Okay, this hyoid bone. And this part. That is... This point prominence is the Adam's apple and this one is the thyroid cartilage. And below this, complete ring. These are all described in detail uh, in anatomy of larynx. I took a class on anatomy of larynx and given it as two parts. All these are given in detail. So in surface anatomy, First one, hyoid bone, then uh, thyroid cartilage which moves on deglutition or movement, movement of the larynx. And below that, you can have a change in consistency, a complete ring. And that is cricoid cartilage. Okay, cricoid cartilage. And below that comes the tracheal ring. I can palpate very easily because slim neck. Okay. Uh, Trachea, tracheal rings, one and two, okay, so hyoid bone, thyroid cartilage below, then comes the cricoid and then the tracheal rings, okay, so every one of you just palpate your uh, hyoid bone and laterally you have the greater horn of hyoid bone and this greater horn of hyoid bone is an important landmark because just at the level of that, level of uh, greater horn of hyoid bone, you will get a pulsation. And that is the point where the common carotid artery uh, divides into internal carotid and external carotid. That is important. Okay. So, uh, common carotid uh, dividing into external carotid and internal carotid. And this, I am not going to that part, um, the branches of uh, uh, internal and external carotid. I will just say, that this uh, common carotid and internal carotid has no branches in the neck and the external carotid artery how many branches uh, are there for external carotid artery? 8. Sister Lucy's powdered face often attracts medical students. Mnemonic. Ok. 8 branches. What are they? Sister Lucy's powdered face often attracts medical Students, uh, branches of this external carotid in the neck that is superior thyroid, then lingual, posterior auricular, facial, occipital, ascending pharyngeal, maxillary, and maxillary and superficial temporal artery are the terminal branches of external carotid. And uh, uh, this internal carotid and common carotid has no branches in the neck also. Okay, so after that, one another important uh, uh, artery you can palpate in the neck is subclavian artery and this uh, pulsation of the subclavian artery you will get just lateral to the clavicular head of sternocleidomastoid okay so um, and again this sternocleidomastoid divides the neck into an anterior compartment which is anterior to the sternocleidomastoid here sternocleidomastoid anterior compartment and a posterior compartment and this um, trapezius muscle is a forms the posterior limit of the posterior triangle. Posterior limit of posterior triangle is formed by the trapezius muscle. Okay, so I will explain once more uh, the important surface landmarks that is the mandible body and also the angle of mandible. Then comes the hyoid bone, then the uh, Adam's apple or the uh, thyroid prominence, then thyroid cartilage of course, then below that is comes the um, 
cricoid cartilage, then you can feel the uh, tracheal rings, then the sternal notch, clavicle, the manubrium, sternoclavicular joint, sternocleidomastoid that with the uh, sternal head and a clavicular head and it is inserted into the mastoid prominence and also the lateral half of superior nuchal line. And again these two uh, triangles, anterior triangle and posterior triangle again divided by omohyoid and the inferior belly of omohyoid comes like this and divides the posterior triangle into a superior occipital triangle and an inferior supraclavicular triangle and uh, uh, anterior triangles are again divided into a submandibular triangle, submental triangle, carotid triangle and muscular triangle and about the triangles of neck I will uh, take an another class so uh, in total there are 8 triangles in the neck right so this is about the surface anatomy of neck